Our North America correspondent Lisa Miller is following developments in New York. Lisa, good morning. What's happened to the Prime Minister? We understand she's fallen ill. Turned up to a lunch that she was due to be the guest speaker for. Uh, it was an economics group, a fairly influential business group here in New York, and we were told that in fact she would not be delivering the speech. Senator Bob Carr would be doing it in her place, and that she was ill. We now know that uh, she's got a bit of a stomach bug. They're saying it'll be a, a 24-hour thing, but it's a it's a, a moving feast here. So just in the last little while. Karina, we've discovered that she has in fact made it to one event today and she certainly had a full schedule. So she is appearing uh, with Hillary Clinton at an Equal Futures Foundation, which Australia is involved with. It's to do with breaking down the political and economic barriers that uh, help women and girls around the world uh, fulfil their potential, something that Julia Gillard's felt very strongly about. So she's out of the sick bed for that. Uh, she missed the speech earlier today. Uh, she's missing a speech at the UN at a particular debate, not her big speech, which we'll see later in the week. She's missing that later this evening. And there's also an event with President Barack Obama at the same hotel where Julia Gillard is staying. And we don't have word yet, Karina, whether she's going to make that or not. So not the kind of day she would have been hoping for uh, as her first 24 hours here in New York. But uh, we can only assume that she must be feeling pretty un well if she's had to uh, not turn up and disappoint people at these particular events. I'm sure she'd be trying to steal herself for that reception with the US President Barack Obama. Lisa, how is Australia's bid going for a seat on the UN Security Council? Well, we'll hear from Bob Carr again shortly, actually, because he's had, uh, despite having to fill in for Julia Gillard during the day, he's also had a really full diary meeting with various leaders from around the world where he would have been pushing Australia's case. That's going to go on all week. Of course, it's uh, been uh, slightly uh, lopsided or upended today by further debate over the opposition's view of it and Tony Abbott's suggestions that perhaps Julia Gillard shouldn't have been here at all. So that dominated conversations this morning. Uh, the uh, Prime Minister, uh, Bob Carr, certainly leaping onto Tony Abbott's comments and suggesting that he basically didn't know what he was talking about and wanted to take Australia back to colonial days. Uh, but we'll know, we'll probably get more of a feel as the week goes on. But the one point that Bob Carr stressed was that in politics, as in everything, people will tell you they're voting for, they'll vote for you and then they'll turn around and not vote for you. So even if they might start feeling a bit more comfortable about this vote, they won't know until it actually occurs on October the 18th. So is Bob Carr still downplaying Australia's chances of winning this seat? Yes, I think he doesn't want to raise expectations at all, but they will be lobbying very hard. The fact that Luxembourg and Finland came into it so much earlier than Australia is difficult because a lot of countries already backed those two countries and said, sure, you've got my vote. So Australia is now having to convince people why it deserves to uh, be in the mix. And they're certainly doing a, a pretty fierce lobbying effort this week, what they have planned, and that's part of the reason as well why Julia Gillard would have been so disappointed that she wasn't able to, to start those efforts today and really begin this week sort of one step behind, one day behind is not something that she would have wanted at all. Lisa Miller in New York. We'll leave it there. Thank you.